any leader inherently understands that he or she must assign tasks to those that work for them, either organizations that are under them or individuals that work for them. What all too many fail to realize is that when you provide that task, there's an obligation to explain why that task is important. What is the intent? What is the purpose? Furthermore, you need to understand that the intent or purpose is always more important than the task. Those who are given the task and the purpose and understand the purpose rises above the task, when they're unable to perform the task for whatever reason, can step back and say, but I can accomplish the superior's intent or purpose with a different task. This is what empowers an organization. What scientists have told us is any organization that understands the task, understands the purpose, and receives feedback will self-organize. What modern organizations that are in command and out of control should try to do is ensure the task is understood, more importantly, what is the purpose behind the task, and they will find at the very fringes of the organization people feel self-empowered and are doing things that are beneficial to the overall organization without ever being controlled in a sense that some sort of lever uh, manipulates them. I don't have much truck for all the literature, these how-to type things with list of, of things you're supposed to do, principles, steps, etc. To me, it's much simpler. You ought to have some vision of where you want the organization to be at the, in the future. It ought to be a mental image of what you want. It's a schema in your mind as to what you want the organization to be. You ought to have some very clear objectives that will allow you to achieve that vision and then assign tasks with the associated intent or purpose for those who are going to move forward. Much more than that, all it does is obscures what you're trying to do.